Hey everybody, welcome again to another one of my math videos. In this video, I will be going over factoring using the difference of squares method. And the difference of squares method of factoring can be summed up using this one simple formula that I wrote for you in green. And it says a squared minus b squared is equal to a and b written twice inside parentheses with a negative inside one parentheses and a positive sign written inside the other parentheses. And it's really important to remember that this formula only works when there is a negative sign in between the two perfect squares. Notice how there's a a squared minus a b squared. So notice that there's a negative sign in between the two perfect squares and that is the only time when this formula can actually work. Just to give you a little heads up, one of the examples I'm going to do later in this video is going to be a trick question. So it's really important that you remember that there has to be a negative sign in between the two perfect squares. So let's get started with our first example. So here we need to factor x squared minus 25. So notice how we have two perfect squares with a negative sign in the middle. So this can definitely be factored using the difference of squares method. And what I like to do is to rewrite it exactly the same way as I did in the formula. Um, so x squared uh, can just be written as x with a squared outside the parentheses minus 25. And 25 can be written as 5 squared. So now you can imagine that our x is going to be our a and our 5 is going to be our b. And what I like to do is to write my two parentheses and then write my a first inside each parentheses and then I write my b second inside each parentheses and I put a plus sign in one of them and a negative sign in the other. And it doesn't matter which one has a plus sign and which one has a negative sign as long as one has a plus and one has a negative. Now we have factored this using the difference of squares. So let's move on to a harder example. So here we have 9x squared minus 16y squared. And although you might not see it right away, 9x squared is a perfect square and 16y squared is a perfect square, and they are separated with a negative sign in the middle. Um, so this can definitely be factored using the difference of squares method. So once again, the first thing I like to do is to write it exactly the same way as I did in the formula. So our 9x squared could be rewritten as 3x squared minus our 16y squared and our 16y can be rewritten as 4y squared. So once again, our 3 squared gives us our 9, our x squared gives us our x squared, and our 4 squared gives us our 16, and our y squared gives us our y squared. So now you can imagine that our 3x is our a, and our 4y is our b. And this can be factored really easily. I'm just going to make my two parentheses. I'm going to put my a first in both parentheses. Now I'm going to put my b second in the parentheses. I'm going to put a plus sign in one of them and a negative sign in the other. Now we have factored this completely using the difference of squares. So let's move on to our next example. So here we have x squared plus 9, and you guys are probably getting the hang of it by now. Um, so you probably think that this can be factored quite easily into x plus 3, into x minus 3 using the difference of squares formula. So what I am here to do is to tell you that this is absolutely wrong. This is a trick question, so I don't want you to make this mistake on your homework or your tests. So once again, this is a trick question. It cannot be factored. We do have two perfect squares. We have x squared, and we also have 9, which is 3 squared, so that is also a perfect square. However, 
we do not have a negative sign in between them. We have a positive sign. We have a plus. They're being added with each other. And remember that you only can factor using the difference of squares and use this formula if there is a negative sign in between them. Um, so please uh, do not make this mistake and try and factor this on your homework or your tests. It is a very common trick question. So now I just want to go over one more example that's just a little bit more complicated that we actually have to use the difference of squares formula more than once. So here we have x to the fourth minus 81. Notice we do have two perfect squares. Um, x to the fourth is x squared squared. And 81 um, is 9 squared, and they're both separated by a negative sign. So we can definitely factor this using the difference of squares formula. So now I'm just going to rewrite it exactly the same way as I did in the formula in green. Um, x to the fourth can be rewritten as x squared squared minus 81, and 81 can be written as 9 squared. If any of you didn't follow how I simplified x to the fourth, uh, whenever you have two exponents on top of each other, they can be multiplied. So our two exponent multiplied by two gives us our x to the fourth. Um, so now we can imagine that our x squared is our a and our nine is our b. And now we can factor. First, I'm going to make my two parentheses. I'm going to put my a first, and our a is x squared inside both parentheses. Then I'm going to put my b second inside both parentheses, which is 9. And I'm going to put a plus sign in one of them and a negative sign in the other. Now we have factored this using the difference of squares formula. However, if you notice inside of our second parentheses, we have two perfect squares. We have x squared, which is a perfect square, and we have 9, which is 3 squared, which is also a perfect square, and it's also being separated by a negative sign in the middle. So if we have two perfect squares separated by a negative sign, we can actually factor the second parentheses even further. So right now I'm just going to rewrite our first parentheses exactly the same. We have x squared plus 9. I'm going to rewrite our second parentheses. x squared can be rewritten as x squared. And our 9 can be rewritten as 3 squared. So once again, you can imagine that our x is our a and the 3 is our b, and this can be rewritten as x squared plus 9, and our second parentheses can be factored, so I'm going to make my two parentheses to factor it. The first thing I'm going to do is write my a first in both parentheses, and our a is x, uh, then I'm going to write my b second inside both parentheses, and our b is 3. And I'm going to put a plus sign in one of them and a negative sign in the other. Now we have completely factored the expression x to the fourth minus 81 using the difference of squares formula. So I hope this video helped you understand factoring using difference of squares just a little bit better. If you need any extra help with live tutoring, or homework solution, please go to my website at mathmeeting.com. Once again, mathmeeting.com, and I would love to help you out. Also, if you like my style of teaching and you like my videos, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitter, or like me on Facebook. That way you can see my videos as soon as I upload them. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and take care.